My name is Michael, uh, by the way. Hi, My name I'm is Michael. Hi, it's JP here. So today we're going to talk a little bit uh, about uh, we're going to talk a little bit about why uh, solar in Malaysia here. Okay. So um, uh, let's go to the next slide, JP. Right. Right. Uh -huh. So as you can see from a screen over here, okay. Uh, currently our beloved country Malaysia. That's why I put up the Malaysia flag uh, up here. Right. So our country, the energy mix. Uh, so you are now sitting in your house enjoying the aircon, you have the fan, and then at night you have lights, right? So uh, uh, the energy that you use, uh, right? The electricity, the electricity energy that you use, uh, uh, in our country energy mixed, they are thirty one percent of this energy uh, is actually burned out of coal. Okay, another forty three percent of this energy uh, is actually burned out of gas. Okay, and we about 4% of the energy is actually burnt out of diesel okay if let's say you look at this composition uh, we have more than two we have more than 75% uh, of the energy uh, three quarter of the energy uh, is actually burnt out of fossil fuel sources when we have to burn something to generate the electricity uh, the byproduct that come after that is actually the CO2 CO2 and then it gives our environment a big impact right and in terms of economy impact, since just now we're in stimulus package mm. talking about economy, right? Okay, so the economic impact, economy impact is our country, we do not produce coal, right? We do not produce coal. And in this COVID-19 MCO, the electricity consumption is still continue in all household, okay? And our country, uh, just now, Minister Prime Minister just mm. announced that we have about 250 billion of this stimulus package that come out, right? And the money that come out, the country also need money, right? Imagine that we have to spend billions and billions of ringgit uh, just to buy coal, bring back to Malaysia, burn it, right? Burn it so that the rakyat can enjoy electricity in your house. So that don't seem quite well. We could have spent that billions of ringgit uh, somewhere else. That is where that our previous uh, Ministry of uh, Energy, uh, MASDAQ, yeah, YB uh, Yobin, right? She mentioned something that I think the whole industry quite agreed to, which is our country, we do not produce coal. Therefore, renewable energy source is one of the best way to move forward. It is not only benefiting our environment, it is also benefiting our economy as well. Imagine that you don't need to uh, uh, this, uh, spend so much of billions to buy coal to burn, and then the, uh, at the same time, you no need you can you can actually export your natural gas, no need to send it to the power plant to burn it to generate electricity. So all this can first cut our this uh, forex, our money that flow out to buy coal, and we sell gas, we could have generate some revenue for the country. So, the, uh, this uh, uh, to and fro uh, is quite a lot of money over there, right? Therefore, that it's not only needing the companies, you need every single rakyat Malaysia to come together, right, uh, in this renewable energy uh, source so that more people, more household can produce uh, your own electricity and contribute to the whole economy as a whole. Right, we are Malaysian, and we all of us we have a role to play. Right, so it's not only that uh, the government uh, spend money here and there, and then nothing to do with us. Every single cent got everything to do with every single one of you. If let's say you're Malay, if let's say you're Malaysian, right. So and let's look at the byproduct. How bad the byproduct can be, right? In accordance to this energy mix, next slide, please. According to this this energy mix. Every single megawatt hour that produced mm. uh, by uh, renewable energy, uh, we got to reduce 0 0.694 ton of CO2, right? Every, every megawatt hour that produced by renewable energy source, be it solar PV, uh, biomass, biogas, mini hydro, right? It is able to reduce 0 0.694 ton of CO2, right? So if you are producing from 
your house, producing from your factory, you're actually doing the country a big, big favour. Not only doing a big favour for the country in terms of economy, you are doing the Rakyat Malaysia a big, big favour also, right? Because why you get to reduce so much of CO2 uh, emission into the environment. Let's look at what Wuhan is lately, right? Can I go to the next slide, please? Let's look at the Wuhan. You can see that this is the satellite photo that taken by International Space Station, NASA, right? On January 1st to 20th of uh, this year. And then this is before and this is after. Uh, after this one is the picture taken on February 10th to 25th, uh, year 2020 this year, okay? Right? You can see that the density of NO2 is so much after the whole Wuhan city, the whole China lockdown, right, because of this COVID-19 uh, virus, yeah, okay, so no uh, factories in production and all this and that, so you can see that how clean the air can become, right. Same goes to Malaysia also. Malaysia, we are a developing country. We have also, in, we have a lot of industrial activities that are going on. We, are, we have production that going on. So we are also consuming a lot of energy, electricity energy. Therefore, that every single one of us, we have to do our part. It's not only for ourselves, not only for our country, for our next generation also. Do going solar, going renewable energy, in which solar is the majority of the uh, this, uh, uh, this this uh, this uh, source, right? Um, you are actually doing your good self, your children, your next generation a big big favor, and.